So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video today on my channel and today's video guys It's going to be the first video in about a week or so, sorry for the lack of uploads, I've been quite busy recently But today is going to be my first transfer video in a while, obviously the transfer window has been open for about a week now And I'm going to be telling you guys today some rumours that have been linked uh, for Luton to potentially sign some new players in this window for the championship next season and also some players that are linked to leave the club so without further ado let's get straight into this video now guys the first thing I wanted to discuss was one player that's left the club obviously last season we did have Luke Bolton on loan from Manchester City only a loan deal he was alright for us he didn't play too much but he's officially gone to Dundee United on loan from Man City so he's officially left the club and he wasn't on like a permanent contract for us or anything but it's good to see him at Dundee United I'm pretty sure he made his debut the other day and he played quite well on like a one one draw so fair play to Lukey Bolton he did quite well for us in some games last season and he's already off to a great start at Dundee United beside uh, Luke Bolton's transfer the other news to discuss is that Danny Hilton and Luke Berry have both signed uh, permanent contracts at Luton I think they're both like two or three year contracts so it's good to have both them staying at the club I guess and I'm really excited to see how they perform next season in the uh, championship especially Danny Hilton who's really good off the bench and obviously there is also the discussion that Glenn Ray is supposed to be close to signing a contract with Luton all Luton fans want Glenn Ray to sign a contract with Luton basically because he's still like 25, 26 he's still got a future at the club obviously I'm personally not the biggest of fans of Glenn Ray I would like to see him sign a contract and see him uh, stay at the club but apparently him and Kazinga Luwalo have both been offered contracts and they may have not actually accepted the, the contracts yet. So we're still waiting on that news for Glen Ray and Kazinga Luwalo to officially sign a longer deal at the club. But hopefully they do because they're two great players for the future of Luton. And finally guys, the last thing I actually wanted to discuss was the actual future potential transfers for Luton to actually sign. Now guys, the first transfer is apparently that Luton are linked to get Alfie Doherty from Charlton on a permanent deal. I believe we bidded on him and... I'm pretty sure Charlton rejected the offer and if you want to know more about Alfie Doherty he's quite young he's only 20 years old he's a left back and he hasn't really been at that many clubs because he's obviously quite young the only club he's actually really been at is Charlton he's been on loan out of clubs but he could be one great player that we could bring into the team for the future obviously if we got him in Kios in the future as our fullback partnership that could be really great so that's the first bit of transfer news and guys the final player that's going to have is Owen Otasowi I think that's how you say his name I'm sorry if I've bitched that but he's linked to join Luton but another team that's after him is Coventry City I believe Peterborough United have also in the race to get this guy but he seems like a great talent obviously he's an American central midfielder from Wolves he's literally only at the age of 19 or 18 years old so he's got great potential again Luton will go for young players for the future of the club so apparently we're really close to getting this guy as well from Wolves so that's two transfers we're linked to get and also maybe James Bree and Carter Vickers come back to the club that's another debate in a different video maybe obviously we had them on loan last season they were two of our best players on loan so we can maybe get them back and Luton fans really want Carter Vickers but I also want James Bree so they're two other players that Luton are linked with to bring back to Kenworth Road so guys I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what you guys do think about these potential transfer signs for the future Obviously, I'm really happy that Barry and Hilton signed contracts. I'm hoping that we can bring the likes of Carter Vickers, uh, James Britt, and the other two linked players to Kenneth Road. I'm hoping that we can make some signings soon, but I'm sure Nathan Jones will get in the bag like he has done in previous seasons. But thank you for watching today's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Sorry if it's been a short video, but I just wanted to get this sort of video out. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads soon as well. I may do a reaction to the last video where I sort of took the mick out of Watford. So let me know in the comments below about that. But thank you for watching today's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace. Oh,